Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fourth and final video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the 10 to 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 26th of September and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with a set of GFS and ECM on board. May run around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFS B2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks and I shall get over that for you in a moment. Just to say it's been a busy old day at Gow's Worthies today. We started off with 6 m UK weather forecast. We've also released a weekend forecast and the EC42 day as well. Please check out all of today's videos and content. Thank you so very much, everybody, for uh, doing that. And thank you so much to all of you who have um, brought some uh, merch, some Gaz Webby's merch from our merch store, and left lovely comments as well. Um, you all seem to be enjoying the uh, new merch. We have got new mugs that uh, James has uh, been working on and uh, we've got those up for you uh, now so uh, we've got a brand new do it do it mug just here complete with gals well of his logo it's a full 360 wrap around as well look at that everyone full 360 <laughs> wrap around mug there and uh, just released we've got a uh, do it mug with do it mug with gals well of his uh, logo as well and again this is a full 360 Wrap around uh, mug as well for uh, Gaz Weatherby's towers. Look at that, Get and the towers. Um, no, uh, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, all of you, for uh, engaging with the merch so far. And if you have not yet brought yourself a little piece of merch, then why not do so? Christmas is uh, coming soon. Well, within about three months. Um, no, you could get yourself a little stocking filler <laughs> from Gav. Why not do that? Thank you so much, everybody. It's helping us to pay for the channel and, you know, have the channel online and do what we do at Gav's Web. It's along with all of the other... Uh, revenue streams like the advertisements, like the super chats, like channel membership, etc., 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 PayPal as well, you know, donation through PayPal, all helps to pay for uh, for me to have a gas worthy to be able to do this for all of you. So thank you, thank you so much to each and every one of you for engaging uh, with uh, what we're doing here at the channel. Thank you so much, everybody. Right, okay, and thanks so much for changing your nice chat, our designer as well. Right, let's have a look then what's going on with Atlantic. So, uh, Hurricane Lee is pretty much done now. Post tropical cyclone Lee is now giving maximum sustained winds of 80 miles per hour with a minimum set pressure of 965 millibars. Uh, I think this is about done with now. We're going post tropical moving over eastern portions of Canada out into the Atlantic. That will pepper up the jet stream though. Uh, we'll probably see that as an area of low pressure here in the UK and Ireland through uh, the middle of next week. We've also got tropical storm Margo with maximum sustained winds of 60 miles per hour. So Margo is just going to be meandering around the place until the middle of next week, and then we'll uh, go post-tropical over the Azores. We'll give them a soaking. And then all eyes will be on tropical depression 15, currently giving maximum sustained winds of 85, uh, 35 miles per hour, I should say, <laughs> with a minimum set pressure of 1,007 millibars. Clicking on 15, we can see this is going to become a tropical storm imminently, and then we'll reach hurricane status through the early part of next week, pushing uh, northwards to the east of Bermuda. So uh, what happens after that, we have to wait and see. We'll have a look at the maximum sustained winds, though, up to that point. So we're going to go to discussion. Um, so this is just short of a major hurricane. Does it strongest in 72 hours? It's going to have maximum sustained winds now, 110 miles per hour is just short of a Category 3 hurricane there, um, I think. So, quite a significant, you know, quite a significant hurricane, high end Category 2, with maximum sustained up 110 miles per hour. It looks like it's weakening, then, as it pushes northwards to the east of the Azores by around 120 hours. After that, there's no other disturbance areas appearing so possibly we're going to go through a rather quieter phase um after all of this activity over the last two or three weeks maybe we'll go through uh, a quieter week or two we'll see though and obviously we'll keep you updated with all of the developments here at gas weather vids Central temperature continue to tick down. It might have gone sub-19 um, on the latest update, but it hasn't. It's still at uh, 19.1, still in the 19, so that provisional 
to uh, yesterday, 15th of um, September. So for the first half of September, give me first dates in September, 15 is the halfway point. Um, no, for the first half of September, we're at 19.1, five, nearly just over five and a half degrees uh, above average. Obviously, an exceptionally hot first half to September. We'll see what happens in the second half. This will continue to come down the second half, but how much it comes down, um, you're going to have to wait and see. I've got a feeling we're going to finish up in the 16s with this, but we shall see. Beats of a GFS, upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. Next to reason at London today, red line is the 30-year upper air temperature average for London, starting up above average with those upper air temperatures. Again, another push of warmer air coming up from south, albeit nowhere near as hot as the push of hot air that we had last weekend, but nevertheless, still above average um, this weekend. After that, we will see, we're going to have a funny breakdown, of course, and then after that, we see about the upper air temperatures hovering close to average, going a little bit below through into the second half of next week. Um, beyond that, through the closing days of September into the beginning of October, we close to our long-term average. Precipitation-wise, I can have some wet weather to come over the next week. Initially, of course, got a funny breakdown uh, tomorrow, and then we're looking at a quite a bit of wet weather coming in from off the Atlantic, particularly affecting England and Wales, actually, through uh, the coming week. Check out weekend forecast more about that. In the closing days of September... To the beginning of October, we have something of a drying trend then starting to appear. Temperature anomalies from the 16th, 24th of September, a little bit below average for Ireland and Scotland, a little bit above average for England and Wales. And precipitation anomalies from the 16th, 24th of September, they are coming out wetter than normal. The latest wind blow map from Earth, Nolschool.net, shows we've got this thundery low to the west of Portugal, as Margo by the way. Um, no, this is below, but it's increasing the humidity and the warmth, but will also be bringing an increasing risk of thunder through the weekend, especially during the course of tomorrow. That's all out of the way, though, by the time we get through to Tuesday. And by Tuesday, we are well and truly under the cost of the Atlantic. So areas of low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic bring spells of rain. Showers in between quite strong winds, as you see from the tight packed ice above. They've got another low in the middle of the Atlantic. But I think that one contains the remains of the Lee as well. That moves in from Tuesday into Wednesday through to Thursday, giving more wet and windy weather through the middle part of the week. And then the low sort of sinks down over top of the country into Friday and Saturday. That could give some places a very wet and quite cold Friday. By Saturday, that low is going out into the Southern North Sea, so it's drying up, but it is cool. Winds are in from the north. We're trying to get a ridge going in the Atlantic. We have got more areas of low pressure uh, waiting in the wings. I think that is our next uh, tropical storm and hurricane, just there the remains of. Uh, that gets us midnight on Saturday. Right, that's that one done. I can't, again, looking rather flat and westerly. With low pressure being showers and or longer spells rain, wet and windy through the middle part of next week. With this area of low pressure down, I think this does contain the remains of Hurricane Lee as well. And then into the second half of the week, we've just got low pressure sitting over the top of the country, really bringing further showers and or longer spells of rain. Another low is waiting in the wings in the Atlantic, just here. That could be heading in perhaps for the weekend of the 23rd and the 24th of September. The GFS midnight run, almost of a much this for Tuesday, looking flat and westerly with spells of rain. Tells in between wet and windy through the middle part of next week with that area of low pressure, particularly wet windy for England and Wales. Then below just sinks down through the country in the second half week, pulls the wind into a northerly, and that low could bring some heavy, persistent spells of rain with it as well. So quite cool and wet at the end of the week. A little rich building there as we go into next weekend, but only ahead of the next area of low pressure, this containing the remains of the uh, uh, the tropical storm and hurricane we've got to come. I think that's tropical storm and hurricane Nigel, but we've got to, to come in the next few days. Well, the remains of that is with this area of low pressure then as we go up towards day nine and ten. So day nine, ten, we're looking rather flat, westerly, unsettled with spells of rain in the north. Remember, GFS midnight rain keeps it unsettled really as we run through the extended range with low pressure remaining in control there. The GFS 6Z is again looking really unsettled on Tuesday and Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, with low pressure being further bouts of rain too. A um, little bit different with this one in that the remains of what will be Hurricane Nigel 
heads up towards green as it starts to build up this ridge to the south and the east ahead of it. So things start to turn just a little bit drier and warmer, maybe, as we go to day 9 and 10, um, as a ridge of high pressure again starts getting going over and to the east of the country. And then the high pressure really is in, then, as we go into the close day of September into early October. That will be nowhere near as warm as the high pressure you had through the first week, 10 days of September. Could bring some quite cool nights, actually, but by day, I imagine temperatures will be a little bit above average. It is settling down, though, on the 6th end. However, right at the very end, the high pressure pulls out to our west, and we get a blast of winds coming in from the north. That's uh, Monday, the 2nd of October, just seeing how Carl Bay gets. So minus five south side, so it's actually getting reasonably close to northern parts of Scotland there um, with that. So maybe the first sort of snowflakes, snowflakes falling over the Scottish mountains then uh, at the beginning of October. Long way off that though, of course. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much everybody for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let's say what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't get to tell friends about Gals Well Vince. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. We need to put on around 45 subscribers to get ourselves to uh, 16.9k. So if you could give us a sub and tell your friends and family to subscribe, it would be incredible. We thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Right, GM. Again, looking rather flat and westerly on Tuesday. There'll be spells of rain in the south and west, showering further north. Then this deepening area of road pressure means wet and windy weather across the country through in Wednesday, we might have our first autumn gales with this. The ice are quite tight, fat, particularly around southern and western coastal regions. Below, so sinking through the country the second half of the wing, so the wind eats is down, but there will be further showers and or longer spells. Rain. Another low sitting just to our west and southwest there into next weekend. So we head up toward day 10, we turn really wet and windy again with the GM proper Atlantic storm, really, um, sweeping in from off the Atlantic there. Around days 9 and 10, the 25th, 26th September, that we bring a wet and windy final week to September. Not much of a build of pressure with that. And then the ECM at WF again looks very flat and westerly on Tuesday. With spells of rain, wet and windy into Wednesday, particularly for the south. This is all looking very autumnal now, isn't it? These areas of low pressure pushing through the country. We go through Thursday and Friday. We'll bring further spells of rain with them. By next weekend, the lows getting out into the North Sea. We're pulling in the wind to more of a northerly, rather showery, um, and not as uh, not as wet, but quite cool. Then this deep air of low pressure containing the remains of what will be Hurricane Nigel sweeping in from off the Atlantic around the 24th. 25th of September, so that being more wet and windy weather back across the country. Still some quite warm air with that down in the south and southeast temporarily, though. And then we're back into those uh, westerly winds, bringing further showers to the north and the west in particular by day 10. This is a precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from Tometio.com. So, we're watching the showers and storms coming up from the south uh, through tonight and particularly into tomorrow, affecting England and Wales, especially western regions uh, initially, and then may push northwards and eastwards across the rest of the country through the afternoon and into the evening. But a cold front will uh, push those showers away, bring a band of rain through Monday morning, and then clear all about uh, warmth and humidity out of the way we go into this westerly flow. Then after that, it's Atlantic dominated, really. So Tuesday, bring further heavy rain in across Ireland, England, Wales, showers for Scotland. Uh, wet and windy as we go through into Wednesday. Again, the rain particularly focused on England and Wales with a weather front that gets quite stuck and is slow moving. Showers further north and west. Second half next week will be very showery. Low pressure bringing showers and or longer spells of rain. A little bit dry as we go into the beginning of next weekend. But then, of course, we've got the remains of Nigel here sweeping in from off the Atlantic. And that brings further bouts of wet and windy weather in with it again notice the weather front getting a bit stuck across more southern areas uh with that so um even in the south it's looking like quite a wet week 10 days even for southern and southeastern parts of the country once we get beyond this weekend and that's where we'll get day 10 into showering conditions then these are the options on the table within the ecm ensemble today for day 10, gets us to the 26th of September. 19 members of the ECM ensembles have low pressure to the north, some high pressure to the south. The winds are coming in from off the Atlantic, looking unsettled and westerly. 13, again, with low pressure to our west, some high pressure down across France. Again, that's looking rather unsettled and westerly. 12, with deep low pressure over top of the country. That looks unsettled too. 
and seven with low pressure way to the northwest, slightly stronger patch with high pressure to our south and southeast. They still really look quite unsettled, I think, at day 10, but there's just a bit of a suggestion there that for the south we might start to raise the heights a little bit and turn things slightly drier. But look at this in two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got, and it is a big, big change here. This gets us to the 1st of October. 15 members of the ECM ensembles have high pressure back in control over top of the country, bringing mostly dry conditions with it. 13, again, with high pressure over and to the east of the country, lots of dry weather with that. 9, with high pressure again, sitting over and to the north of the country. 8, with high pressure slightly to the west. And 6, keep it unsettled, just a minority option then, to keep it unsettled of 6, um, with uh, showers and long spells rain, chopper flow just to our east. Um, now, the thing to say about that high pressure course is that we're talking about early October, we're not talking about the start of September, we're talking about the start of October, so we're month, one month on. We can still get very warm and or really hot weather in October. It was only 2011, but we saw temperatures reaching 30 degrees on the first day of October, so it's possible we might turn uh, very, very warm again with that. It is also possible, though, that that could be a cool ridge of high pressure, whilst it may you know, settle things down and break us out of the wet weather. It might bring, um, you know, cool nights and and maybe um, mist and fog and possibly ground frost and that sort of thing. So it's going really to depend on the exact origins of the air. That's the point I'm trying to make with high pressure. That is increasingly so as you go through uh, the autumn. And as you get into November, actually, even if you've got a, a technically mild ridge, it can still become cold on the surface through inversion. So uh, all of that kind of stuff we'll be talking much more about uh, you know, as we go through um, go through the autumn. But that's quite a significant change, isn't it, on all those options from like um, the 30th of September to 1st of October, so it does look a little bit odd, actually, I have to say that. But anyway, we'll leave that alone, and we'll see how that trends over the next few days. Uh, right, CFSB2 finally so it's a 500 millibar height and on to break down into week periods. The first week period will take us from the 16th to the 22nd of September. This next week we'll have low pressure over top of the country, so obviously as we've established, it's going to be very unsettled and um, wet windy and, you know, autumnal rains. Uh, week f week 2 will be 23rd, 29th of September, still with low pressure dominating. We've been currently that one very unsettled as well. Week 3, however, 30th of September, 6th of October, starts to see a little bit of a change. It's some ridging developing to our south and east, and low pressure is out to the west. That might be starting to turn a little bit drier and warmer down in the south. And then, then week 4, very inconclusive. It's 7th, 13th of October, so just some sort of upper level trough maybe in this white area. Um, but it neither shows high pressure or low pressure really. But it do, I suppose it does imply that if we do get some higher pressure building through early October, it probably won't last all that long. But then again, it's four weeks away, so it's unreliable. And we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please can you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so very much everybody for doing that. Drop a comment. Let's know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't get to tell friends about Gals well, Thank you so much for doing that. We need to put on around 45 subscribers for five to get ourselves to 16.9k. Amazing and incredible. Thank you so much everybody for doing that. And just a reminder, please check out our merch and uh, get yourself like a mug or a hat or you know, a t-shirt or something. It's helping to support the channel. So thank you so much everybody for doing that. Um, for us. Uh, you can find the link to the merch store in the description with this video. Right, I'll just tell you what's coming up tomorrow. That's it for today's video. Just tell you coming up tomorrow. Now, 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. We will have the third winter 2023 24 update. So, another epic being released on the channel tomorrow. Third winter update. And if all of that wasn't enough, we could be live streaming at 6 p.m. We will live stream our 10 14 day and we'll show you some long range from the CFS of uh, Beijing Climate Center with that. You enjoy the rest of your Saturday. And for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.